Hello everybody, it's Cookie. Welcome to my channel, Cookie's Cache. How's everybody doing today? And welcome to my channel. Um, if you've never been on here before, I do um, bag and jar openings of vintage and antique jewelry when I can find it, and uh, some repurposing. And I usually pick my, my bags up at the Goodwill. I have got some from private auctions. And um, if you like my channel, I'd really appreciate you hitting subscribe, going across and hitting the, the bell, and then the all so that you can follow me for my uh, openings and for my sales. I try to have a sale um, jar opening or bag opening once a week and then a sale once a week. And I try and put out a reminder or a little ad just before I do it so that you all can kind of make a little time in your day for me. Today I was out and about and happened to be passing by a Goodwill and I thought, I've been in there this one before and never found anything and thought I might stop and take a chance and lo and behold, she had three bags and um, kind of looked them over, tried to see if I could see anything interesting and of course they all look, all look interesting through the bag but um, this was $49.99, no discounts. So I took two of the bags and I thought, well, you know, I'm not doing anything this afternoon. Let's go ahead and open a bag and see if maybe we got lucky this time. So the first thing that popped out as I untaped it was this little um, bangle bracelet. It's a gunmetal color and it has these... Uh, like little angles, cut-ins, indentations. Looks like triangles and and bars. It's it's nice. It's in good condition. It's very pretty, very lightweight. We'll set that aside. I see a whole bunch of. Of course, we're going to have the tangles, but we'll work through it. Okay, look at this one. This is a nice cuff. It's um. This back here. Let me just test it real quick. It's a silver tone. It's not sticking, so we're going to have a little bit of testing to do because it could be just silver overlay. But it is it is quite pretty. It's got a little heart and two stars on either side. It is a little bit larger, but very attractive. Got another bangle, little turquoise enamel, silver tone, and a large clamper enamel. Needs a little bit of care, and by that I mean a little wash up. Very good. Very large. <laughs> Ouch. Nice statement. Those are all fashion jewelry, just overlay of silver. We got a, I'm betting this, this looks like, uh, when you're going to give somebody with uh, a wine bottle, you hang this over the neck of the wine bottle. Isn't that pretty? Look at this. Large crystal acrylic, and you've got some beads, acrylic pearls, and then the gold tone in between. That's really nice. And then it looks like here's what goes with the wine bottle. I don't know what happened here. It looks like it might have had a couple of dangles on it, but you could certainly put a, a wine hook on that and put those two together, put this one on the bottle or put, you know, add a little bit, repurpose it. It's a nice, very nice cork. I have a little cross. Actually, this is a crucifix. And gold tone. Oh, now this is sweet. I hope I get another one of this. It's a little earring and it's acrylic and it's got a little dry flowered in it, silver tone. It's kind of hard to see because it is so small. Set that aside and see what we get. We have two of those latest out, those roll-on bracelets, you roll them on. Well, I'm not going to try that. That looks like it might go on a little bit smaller hand, <laughs> but they're uh, 
teal color and silver tone and some black and some gold and some white little all seed beads. Very nice. Okay, we've got another keychain here for our first keychain. It says, never drive faster than your guardian angel can fly. And it's a little medallion. It needs some cleaning. Just silver tone. And it has a little angel, um, little angel charm right there. I think that's, it might be a little bit too far away for y'all to see. So I might have to adjust that. Okay, I have a great big watch. This is a GT Grand Touring. Uh, needs some cleaning. Hardly worn at all. I mean, it, it, it looks like it's just been stored away in a, in a workshop. It's Japanese movement. And, of course, I don't know anything about this. I don't. I imagine it needs a battery, so I'll have to check it. And then next out is another one. Now, this one would be good. You have a little bit of trouble seeing close. This is a simulated leather band. It does have a little bit of wear. Um, this is Japanese movement, also stainless steel case. It does need a little little love. We'll check it and see. Pop a battery in there and see. I'm seeing another one here trying to get out. Oh, this one's pretty. This is gold tone with some rhinestones on the band. No name on the face. Large, large numbers. Uh, this one is uh, stainless steel. Japanese movement. That's quite pretty. Okay, let's see what else. More bangle bracelets. And a rubber reading superstar. Uh, somebody got that, I guess I would say, in school. And here's a large large beads. They're all acrylic. They're, uh, looks like some of the acrylic paint is chipping off, so this is going to probably go in a, a craft bag. Yeah, it, they're really pretty colors. Very nice. It's kind of dark. Uh, very pretty. Okay, that'll go in a craft lot. There's a GE pendant and copper, our 10th year aircraft engine group, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And here are some stud earrings. They're um, that, uh, what did they call it? I think it is brutalist type jewelry. And there's copper tone and gold tone and rose tone, all fashion. They're all pierced. So if you've got a lot of holes in your, in your ear and you'd like to fill them up, boy, this would be right up your alley. We'll put those aside. We've got some Invisawire necklace, necklaces coming out here, too, I can see. Here's a balloon fiesta pin. And it, I can't quite see what it says. It says, um, it's a collector's pin. No back. Put that over there. Oh, now this is one of those cartoon characters, a little pin. Enameled. Quite cute. Bright colored, no back, and this is looks like it's part of the Disney Corporation. You got two large hoop earrings, about a two and a half, three. They've been quite worn. You can tell one's a little bit on the yellow and one's white, painted plastic. Put that in the craft lot. 
haven't had a Goodwill bag this large, so I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed and single be single earring. We'll see what that comes up if there's a match. Keeping my fingers crossed, hoping that I'll uh, we'll get some nice things out of it today. It's a little um, acrylic mint colored bead bracelet with a copper um, cross on it, and that is a refurbish or repurpose. Here, this matches that. This looks like a headband. That'll go with that orange thing that came out. That orange uh, rubbery bracelet. This is Bijou. Some costume earrings. Green, like a mint green. Here's another free freebie or free earring. Little turquoise crystal beads. And then one in between, I can't even, <clears throat> oh yeah, it does, it has some, some color to it, to some different colors. I'll have to clean that up and see what that goes with. Now here's something cute, little tiny charm. Well, actually it looks like it might have been a necklace. It's got a little stone in it. It's not, uh, no marks of course, it's real small, but let's see what it does. Well, that's going to be a test, definitely. We'll have to set it aside because it's not sticking. But of course, that doesn't mean anything. It could be something um, like gold or silver overlay over copper. And so that's not going to stick. Now this pin, be prepared. So this is a Boy Scout, Boy Scout pin. Something's missing, so maybe that will show up. We'll see. A little dangle off of it. I thought I had already pulled out a little Christmas thing, but we'll see. I, maybe I just saw that one in the in the mix. This is pretty. Very pretty. Some little stones, like Jasper stones. A little cross. That looks silver. Well, that's not sticking. The cross is not sticking. It's the wire. That's very pretty. Very delicate. Okay. And this is nothing. <laughs> the beads are sliding off. I don't know if this was, um, looks like it's kind of a, it's a wooden piece and these are wooden beads as well. I can't imagine. You know what this does kind of remind me of that. Um, I was just telling you about those wine necklaces that they have, wine bottle necklaces. That's kind of what that looks like. Okay, here's that Invisawire necklace that's got everybody in a, a knot here. Let's see if I can easily pull this apart. I see a couple of marks, maker's marks here. I'm going to hand this off to my hubby here and see if he because this is a large bag. This was five pounds. So I'm going to hand that off to him and see if he can untangle it more easily than I can. Now this is in a package and I'll try not to make it sound too crinkly. I wouldn't have put it in like that. But wow. This is really definitely, this is a, a peacock feather and some black, almost look like raven feathers or crow feathers, fuzzy, very big rhinestones, um, definitely Mardi Gras time. And this, I'll bet, the way it has this, it's either for a for your pashmina, which is the scarf that goes around your neck, or it's um, a shoe clip. I guess you could clip that in your hair as well. Can you see that? Look at that. It's just um, like little threads. That's very cute. Very attractive. And the feathers are in excellent condition and that's why it was in this little package here. It's black feathers with that peacock. I don't know why this seems to get dark as I come on line. The colors, the darker colors get dark. That's why I thought I'd go back to the white for, for the opening, the white background here. 
just a second because I'm, I don't want this one to get damaged. It was in very good condition. There we go. Okay, that should hold. And this one is, oh, this is cute. This is not attached. This is a pendant and it has um, a lightning strike. It's kind of a, it's acrylic and it's backed by black. You know, just, um, I think that's just, the chain sticks, but the pendant does not. So it's just coated. This is very pretty. Black chain, not gunmetal. And, Now I see why they didn't have it together because this is a little, it's never been used. I'll have to play with it to get it to go. But isn't that pretty? It's kind of got a purplish rose tone to it. And of course it looks, when you move it, it's not a holograph, but it, when you move it, it does look like the lightning is moving. I'll put that back in the package as well. It's in such good condition. But, um, I don't want to get it. Messed up. Boy, I'll tell you, I can tell right now my hands are going to be black. I'm going to have to change my background because it's already getting filthy. This is um, a little necklace, a little fashion statement, and this is arrow spaddle. Arrow spaddle. Thank you. <clears throat> Not familiar with it at all. This is, turn my, okay, turn my, my ruler around so I can see just how long the drop is. It is nine and a quarter inches, it has a nice little Lobster claw clasp with an extender. This is just fashion jewelry. Or if you want to call it costume jewelry, it's very sweet. These little glass or seed beads, larger than a seed bead. Little, a nice shape uh, thread or cord rather. Has a little gold heart. And there is, a, I guess that's their their logo. I really can't see. Yeah, it looks like it is their logo. And a little silver heart dangle. Now that's cute. Green. We also have another bangle. Actually two. Silver tone. Nice shape. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with all these bangle bracelets. I don't know. You can leave me some comments in the, or leave me some suggestions in my comment section. Maybe you have an idea of what I can do with them. There, I have a shoebox full. These are Gigi of New York. I had these marked at $2.99. They're antique gold pierced earrings. They're about a three inch drop. The chains dangle, very cute. Little kind of a bluish tone crystal. Mm. A 14 karat gold. Um, JCM or JC or JMC or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> My husband Larry tells me this is JCM, so 14 karat, gold. 14 karat gold. So I'm assuming that these are real pearls. I can't imagine them putting, yeah, they're cold. Very pretty, 14 karat gold. Well, woohoo! We got our first piece of gold there in a Goodwill jar or bag. Now here comes another bracelet. And it has quite an extender on it, so it could be 
it could fit a uh, very, very small or a little bit thicker wrist. And this one is no maker's mark. Got a little faux bell here on the end. On, But isn't that pretty? It's got a um, ceramic heart with a purple swirl. And then some little hearts all along. Now that would be very cute for Valentine's Day. Different, you know. Don't get to see many, many, um, White hearts. That's a Claire's. Okay, this is Claire's. And it has a little small. God, that black feather just got me everywhere. <clears throat> has a small. Um, I think he said it's a small pink stone, and I believe it that is it's either February. It's prong set, gold tone. Claire's, and it is without the extender, because it's got about a three inch extender on it. But without that, it's very delicate. It's nine inch drop, 10 inch drop. There we go. Okay. This is a Okay, this is a um, little 8 inch. Um, this chain just needs a little bit of cleaning. Little kind of a yellow pearl with a little green rhinestone at the tip. Very small, also very delicate. Have another spare earring here. See that earring's bad on Um, stray earring and a possible piece off of a stray earring, or we'll see. Here is another, this is a Christian witness symbol. It has a little, um, like, lantern or um, wax lantern, and then the cross behind. Nice little pen. And here is somebody's United Way um, little three people. When you donate, they, they give you these. You donate a certain amount, and they give you these. Nice little pens. Here comes a little ring. I don't want to put it on and get it stuck. This is um, kind of like a gunmetal color over copper. It's a seven and an eighth. Has a little bit of markings, engravings on it. It's just silver tone. Now this is pretty. This is like a pewter. It's uh, some flowers. It's a double pen. <laughs> they put an earring back on that, so we'll have to see if we can't upgrade that. That's It's cute. It's nice. It's different. Here's another necklace. This is stainless steel. And oh, this is um, for like the nursing or medical profession. Uh, here's your heart with your uh, beat, your monitor, and then the other part of the stethoscope. Isn't that sweet? That's cute. That's a thoughtful little gift. And that is nine and a half inches. And I have another. My furry boy, Gibbs, is saying hello. He's got to say hello every single time we're on, on air. Now, this is a little... A um, little bit of wear on this. I think it was gold tone. It might, no, it's silver tone. 
a little bit of tarnish, so we have to see if that cleans up with little white pearls. Very cute, very sweet. That's a seven inch. Oops, we got loose beads. Well, we all know we're going to get those. This is, somebody has done um, crochet with stretch wire. This is a BFF, Best Friends Forever. And it's a little, I think it's a necklace. Well, it has kind of like a clasp there, but it has uh, the little charms, BFF and the little enamel star. It's got some stretch to it still, so make a nice little gift. Oh, now these are cute. I know somebody that would love these. Uh, Halloween hoops. Halloween hoops, they're about an inch, and they have spiders and pumpkins and candy corns. Aren't those cute? That's a good set. Now oh, here's another one of those. I think this one's supposed to be a bracelet. I think somebody was practicing their crocheting on that. Some more loose beads, some fuzz. I love when we get, they give me all that extra. Definitely gonna have to vacuum my floor after this bag opening. Getting a lot of DNA falling out. Now this has a tag on it, and I know these are artisan made. You can just tell they're, they've, they're a little worse for wear. Um, as far as the, the cleanup, but that is, those are different. Very, very different. They're, I don't know what kind of shell that is, but it looks like somebody wanted $120 for them. <laughs> okay. Let me just check here. Um, they're not sticking. Well, guess what, folks? We're going to test those and see what they put them on. That's a good idea. The shell look appears to have been cut, but, or broken apart some way. Very pretty. Very ingenious. And here is... Okay, this is different. Oh, um, this goes clipping on your ear. It has a clip here. There's a clip at the top. So this would go in your pierced earring hole. And then this would clip at the top of your ear. You know, up at that angle, I don't know, that might be a little, little uncomfortable, but sure, it's got all of its uh, rhinestones. Very pretty, very bright, shiny. Okay. And here are some, this is from the Enchanted Pla Planet. It says 20 P's. It's on that Invisa. Oh, I think it's... um. I believe it's a bracelet, but it doesn't feel stretchy, but it has to be. It says turquoise agate, so that's been colored. They're very cold. Good, um, good repurpose jewelry, jewelry um, craft lot. Another little piece earring. I haven't had a match for that one yet. This is a teacher, a caring heart. <clears throat> Excuse me. It has so much wear on it, you can't really read what it says any longer. It's just too, too much. We'll put that in a craft lot. We have a little watch with a faux leather. The band is in good shape. Not bad at all. This is uh, quartz and base metal, stainless steel back, and Genos, Genos, I believe is what it says. It's in very good shape. The crystal is in good shape. Nice. Little dress watch. Little ring. 
some kind of a ring. It looks almost like a, yeah, it's a skull and crossbones. Put that in craft lot. And we have an earring. This is a stone, or glass rather. Kind of an orangey glass. Hope we get a match for that. Here's a little pierced earring. A little key. And here's the other piece to that dangle that I brought out earlier. So I'm hoping that it, it looks like they did go to a pair of earrings, but I don't know. Here comes an ear cuff. And it's a dragon with the wings. A little bit of goth going on there, I think. And this is a little cherub, a little pin. Okay, we'll pull out some more loose beads. Another watch. Oh, it's a Minnie Mouse watch. How cute. Pink, she's there, and of course we can't tell if it's running. We'll have to check it for batteries. It's a Disney. The watch band is made in China. Interesting how they don't, you know, they purchase these things and then they don't even take the plastic off, off the back, which is good for us because it keeps it from scratching. Very nice. I've gotten quite a few watches this batch around. Here's another one of those CB uh, bracelets. These are coming online now a lot lately in support of countries that, you know, uh, for their women and they need help uh, to um, help themselves, you know, to support themselves. And that's what they've been doing, is they've been doing a lot of uh, smaller crafts and helping themselves out. And that's really nice. This is... Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hand this off for a minute because I haven't a clue. It opens, I know. It's rubber or a type of rubber. It's in good shape, but I think it's one of those, um, it says made in China. I, it might be one of those watches that monitor your your health or your heartbeat and so forth. We'll see what Hubby says about it. Here's some uh, cruise earrings or island earrings. They're acrylic with little green flowers on them. At least we've got the pair. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, what is this? This is, this was a pen, and it, it looks like it was an artisan piece. It had a good idea. Looks like a whale. I don't know. Let's see, we have a little charm, a little gold charm with a strawberry on it. In a bag, we have a large crystal. Go in a bag, craft lot bag. Then I have a, an earring that is also artisan made, twisted wire. Uh, it, it's seen its better days, unfortunately. It's a, what they call a Fitbit. Is it open? No. <laughs> it's a Fitbit. And basically what that does is it monitors your heartbeat, respiratory, like when you're running or something like that, and it transmits it to your phone. And you can read everything on off on your phone. Okay, well, we'll just put that in a jewelry lot. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be using it. Here's a little earring with a mother of pearl in the, on gold, and it's bent. I don't know if I can straighten that out if we find it. Here is another little earring, kind of a wild, rubbery, orange and off-white with a little crystal dangle. Another separate earring. These are all individual earrings. I have a pretty cross, very pretty, very delicate. Yeah, these are all no matches. We'll see if anything comes up. And a little bitty tiny cross with a little flower. Can't hardly even see it. Okay, let's see what else is popping out here. I have some hearts. Now this is pretty. These are glass with crystal in between. Swarovski, um, not Swarovski, but Czech crystal. So those are glass. Glass, nice little 
good stretchability still. That's cute for Valentine's Day. Very cute. Okay, and we have a bangle, black, with tiger stripes, gold. Very good shape. Another bangle, silver tone, twisted. Somebody's gum. <laughs> Some silver tone hoops. I always have to laugh because that's, you know, really, you can't walk over to the garbage can. <laughs> okay, these are silver hoops. They have had some wear, but like, you know, just not clean. Ooh, and they're not sterling or, or 925, but they're really pretty. They're very attractive. We'll see if we can't clean those babies up. Here's another. This bag is full of huge watches, and this is, uh, let me see. I always have to have my husband open this so we can move it. It's some kind of a um, stainless steel back, water-resistant, quartz movement. The, this is in very good shape. The, it's like a um, plastic or rubberized band, brand new. Doesn't look like they even wore it. They bought it and decided they weren't going to go skin diving. That's what it looks like. I can't see the name. Jemco? No. Jenco? It's with a G. I'll check it and put a battery in it. Now I have three huge, looks like men's watches. Another pick, another stretch crocheted plastic. And these are pretty. I can already feel them. They're quite heavy. They're, um, Shell shaped, They're copper tone, no mark, and of course they're not going to stick because they're copper. But it's another set. Now here's a rhinestone pair. This must have been the bag for watches, and when I was looking at it, I saw a few watch faces, but I didn't think there would be that many in here, but that's okay. People are always on the lookout for an inexpensive watch. This is a kind of a roped design of uh, seed beads, gold color. They're very pretty. They're pierced ears. I might do an earring ring or earring lot sometime to here. We have another, ooh. Don't want to have that in there. I don't know. Okay, this is another black one. Then we have another watch. Now this one has seen, the band has seen some better days. Yeah, they've used this one. It's got a date, quartz movement, and I can't quite see. It's funny how it stops right, the hand stops right over the, the logo. 3HMBM. 100 M water resistant tracer night reading. Hmm, might be worth looking into. Check it out. It could be cleaned up. Oh, but some of the letters or the numbers for the, yeah, you'd hate to be down, you know, 300 feet trying to figure out where you're at and not have any numbers to read. That would not be good. Oh, now here's a little fashion bracelet. Good shape. It's got gold tone, silver tone, rose gold, has a nice toggle clasp. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look at it. It looks like it rubbed up against some paint or something. Um, no maker's mark. Yeah, it looks like she rubbed up. Who would? Well, I'm not going to say. I wouldn't wear this to paint my green room, but this is sure pretty. And I like that. Well, if I can't put it in a bag, I'm going to keep it. Here's another one of those. This is a Casio, a Baby G, shock resistant. And if you can see that, it looks like they have a, looks like a road map or somebody's, I don't know, it's, this is pretty worn. A Baby G, Casio, I can't imagine. Every time I see the word Casio, I think of trains. What is it? Uh, trains. 
airplanes and automobiles from with uh, J um, Steve Martin and John Candy. Oh, Christmas bells. Now that's cute. They're very inexpensive. They were three dollars. Can you see the color on that? Blue. They're little bells. Blue and green and gold and silver and red. Yeah. I know. husband's trying to save me some time by looking it up for me. Here's a nice one. It's that white or off-white rubber band or, yeah, wrist um, watch band. This is a Geneva. has little rhinestones all the way around. Looks like it's in good shape. No real, nothing expensive here. I don't know if I'd want to, I'll have to see if that cleans up. If it doesn't, we'll put it in the craft lot because it's not like I'm lacking for this is another one of those um, Fitbits. Is that what you call them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is a Harry Potter Fitbit. It uh, hooks up to your phone to read your, to monitor your, your organ beats, heartbeat. Oh, I can't see keeping that. Okay. And I got myself a little lion. That's cute. That's good luck. I got some Tinker Toys, some, I don't know. I think that's considered trash. <laughs> okay. Oh, look what I got. And I've been, you know, it's funny because I, I do a lot of work, but I have, um, you know, craft work and stuff, and I'll be, I'll have the, I'll be doing that and have the TV on. This is a Mockingjay pin from um, The Hunger Games. Isn't that nice? And this one is copper, and it's made in China, LGF, made in China, and I really don't care because I'm going to keep this one, unless somebody desperately wants it, but I like that. So no choice, it's mine. Uh, these are just long pieces of metal. Let's see what they are. I think it might be. It might be silver. They don't stick. They're just long bars of uh, earrings. Here's tears. them down so you can look at them. That could be a dangerous weapon. Okay. And here's paparazzi. You know, what's a bag without paparazzi? They're getting about as as numerous as the, um, the beaded twist wire that everybody gets. These are some, this is cute. This is a cute little gift. Fun. Some little girl would love that. Of course, that ring is, it's a stretchy ring, but they'd probably put it on around their, their wrist. It's big. Silver tone. Just kind of fashion findings. Very cute. Very nice. And it's time. We've had a discussion, myself and my oldest boy Gibbs, my furry boy. I don't think he's getting the picture, though. But he can't be doing that when Mama's on online. It's like, I don't care. <laughs> Here's a little... Little necklace, seed bead necklace, blue and pink. And it's going to go in the craft lot if I, there we go. And this is a cross on some well-worn leather and yarn. And it's going to go in the craft lot. We have an earring. One. Let's see. We have another Earring that's gotten itself engaged with a piece of well, if I could get that over that, 
and set that aside. Another bead, another finding, single earring. Oh, now that would be pretty to find. The match to that one, very pretty. Rhinestone with like a ruby in the center. We'll have to test that one. Here is like a, a rivet, federal. It uh, looks like the bottom of a bullet. And then it has a rhinestone in the middle. And a little gold hoop. How did it get stuck under there? Oh, I see. Something has fallen out of it and it got twisted back. Now that's cute. That's a little teardrop with little um, peridots. And another little um, rhinestone teardrop. That's That one is a garnet color. This one will go in a craft lot. I think we're making pretty good way. Okay, what is this? Pass oh, that big mess off. <laughs> I'm sure glad I have him here to the side. He's usually pretty quiet, doesn't interfere, and just moves right along. This is a It looks like kind of looks like bone, but then it looks like acrylic made to look like bone. These are like they feel like leather drilled. I don't know. They don't look like acrylic. They have leather here. It is broken. Well, no, it's not broken. It has a safety pin on it. It has a nice catch. No name. Very rustic looking. A nice little choker, different, and then it has that centerpiece. Almost looks like wood. These could all be wood. I'll have to check it closer. This is a little rosary um, bracelet. Oh, it is broken. Shoot, it has the crucifix and little metal. <coughs> Very pretty. Can't solder it. Can't do anything with it. There's another single earring. And this one already knew it was single because it was moving over to the single batch. Uh, oh, got a pair of earrings here. Very nice. We'll move them over to this pile. Little kind of uh, shredded button and a little rhinestone. I might check that one. It has a different look to it. This is a three-headed dragon. I'll have to clean this up and see if it's the silver wearing off or the girl gold wearing off. It's a Zihi. Ziri is costume jewelry or fashion jewelry. Uh, Mir in Piersi. I'm not familiar with that at all. I might not even be saying it right, but hmm, interesting. Different. Here's another earring. Little acrylic beads. I'm not even going to look at these because they look like their backs off of earrings. Another single. And this is a little plastic uh, rosary, Holy Cross Ministries. Nice, lightweight. Oh, thank you. Okay. Nice fashion necklace. It is got these kind of um, off-white teardrops. Gold tone chain all the way up to a lobster claw clasp. The clasp, the, ex the extender is finished. No names. Um, some very pale pink, eight millimeter. Then we go to, these have got to be 10 millimeter, eight millimeter, and then six millimeter. These are black, white, 
then they have the little gold rondelles. Very pretty. There we go. Very nice. I have a, um, another one of those cross bracelets. This one are, these are glass pearls. Has the cr sideways cross to go across your wrist. Got some good stretch. Some little uh, rondelles, little rhinestone rondelles between. Have a pair of earrings that are, are they broken? Are they not broken? Oh, I see. They've, uh, Acceleration brand, it's their little black jump ring. One of their little black jump rings has gone by the wayside, so we'll put that for craft. That would make a nice craft piece. These are little turtles. Little child's bracelet. Little blue and white turtles. Very cute. And I'm not getting a lot of matches here, people. They're just not coming up. I wonder if that one matches this one. Nope. One looks like it's gone dead, and this one is still pretty, pretty bright. Little post, silver post, or silver tone post. Um, drop of some sort. Teardrop faceted. This is a little tiny locket and has a B on it. Well, I can't get that one open. We'll have to see if we do with that. Get some of that garbage out. Okay, it looks like we have a pair of um, little seed bead ear pierced earrings and a pair of gold enamel, gold and red hoops. And then a frog, <laughs> frog pierced earring. And this is where a kid can be a kid. Oh, this is a Chuck E. Cheese token. How fun. Okay, and this is... I don't want to open the package because it looks like it's not knotted. They're wood, but it is so cute. Mushroom and little gnome on these beads. It looks like somebody... These are beads for... Bead, glass beads, assorted black, red, um, yellow. Yeah, this is for somebody's to put together a little bracelet, a little stretch bracelet. We'll put that in the craft bag. And uh, I thought I had gotten another pair of these, but I think I might have just seen them in the bag. Put those aside. Here is a dollar earring. These are little gold tone, just set in lightweight costume jewelry. And boy, we did get the beads falling everywhere. Earring backs, I can always use those. This is a little, little gold band, ring band, that, that you usually find on like wedding cakes or the groom cake. You put those in. A lot of single earrings. Really small single earrings. Oh, and a cute little <clears throat> ceramic Dutch shoe. Um, we did, I did get the match to that one. I see it here. Here it is. And those we were going to test. And uh, got the match to this one. I just pushed it aside. Don't see it right off. Here's little, another little angel holding a banner. 
and single earring. This is a pin and some beads and oh, that's very pretty. That's a clasp clip earring. Well, we'll see what comes up. Okay, I'll set all that aside because I don't I want to take the time to go into all that. Open that one for me. I don't know. What do you think? I'm thinking this is a lot more of a craft bag than it was anything else. A lot of broken, a lot of single earrings, which is fine. You know, you sometimes I said I bought two of the two of these bags, so I might pick up the the other earrings in in the other bag, but. I just that like I said they had a third bag and I wasn't real thrilled about getting it because it looked like it had a lot of plastic beads in it. Uh, you know, you, of course you never know what's in the inside of the bag, but here's a little gold charm that says sand, a little larger one. Now this is a necklace. I'm thinking there's an earring caught up here that's holding it all <clears throat> in one spot. And it's a cute little earring. It's um, copper. Here, I was able to get it out pretty easily. It's got kind of a copper tone and then a little copper <clears throat> crystal teardrop and then another one here. Oh, look at I was going to toss this one in. Oh, they're pretty worse for wear. They're both bent. They look like somebody ran over them. We'll put them in the craft bag. And I'm still trying to figure this baby out. I know it's all one piece. It's a turquoise. That is turquoise. I can feel it. Oh, I have this here. I wonder if my friend Robin has this one. This looks like a cruise ship. I'll have to text her. That's my Skywatch too. She collects these charms, so I'm going to set that aside. I happen to have another one of those come to Jesus talks with my furry friend there. It's just getting out of hand. I think it's. I'm going to give that one up to my hubby because I can't seem to make any headway there. Now, here's one that he just untangled for me, and it has a beautiful rhinestone in the center. Actually, it appears like I've got two of them. And he sat all that time and worked on them. And they're gorgeous. They're pretty. Very fine chain. The chain from the clasp. The drop is nine inches. Very dressy. I'm trying to see what it says here. It says... W-H-B-M. So that's another one I'm going to have to look up. I'm not familiar with it at all. And, that's, and this one as well. W-H-B-M. Very pretty. I'm going to set those way over here by that gold chain that I got. That 14 karat gold chain. So. That's all right. <clears throat> I think I got a belt. Maybe I got, no, I got a necklace. I don't know. <laughs> it's got faux <coughs> turquoise cabochons. <clears throat> it is very definitely a, about a 19 inch drop. It does have a large clasp here. I'm thinking it's got to be a belt. It's a uh, Antique, antique silver. 
and it sticks. That would make a very small, small contra belt. It's cute. Aha! Is this the culprit? This is the culprit that's losing all the beads. It's in a fun. Yeah, there, this one's loose. This is definitely going in a craft craft lot. Nice beads. Very nice beads. They're kind of gold tone and copper tone. They look like they've been um, uh, decoupaged. Or, yeah, it looks like the beads have been wrapped in something. Very cute. Craft lot. And I have this little lock that I was trying to open. It wasn't it wasn't sticking. We'll have to test it. It has a B on the front. I don't see any mark on it. But we'll check it. <clears throat> very small. I have a very, very inexpensive ID bracelet. And really <laughs> Okay, I've got a rock, I've got a crystal, I've got one of those, I think they call them eternity pierced, eternity pierced earring. It goes down the side, looks like, a, actually I think, if I'm not mistaken, it goes into the ear like this and then sits and goes up into the, the top part of your ear. A little foil stone. I'll have to go through all of these individually and look and see because there's rhinestones, there's um, crystals, there's beads. There's a lot of very small unattached pieces here. Nothing that looks really outstanding that jumps out at me. Little, I think it was gold tone. These are all. I know I have some pearl matches in here, so we'll we'll do those. You don't have to put up with that. <laughs> here is a rosary with a pretty crucifix, very lightweight. These are Sacred Heart Monastery, and this is the Twelve Promises of the Sacred Heart. Oh, this is a small one. This is um, this is like something you you say oh, very quickly. I'd have to see the instructions on it. It's cute, very nice, very pretty. If you haven't been to my channel before, I welcome you. I appreciate you stopping in to see what I have, what I've picked up. As I said, I picked this Goodwill just on chance, this Goodwill bag today. Um, I really don't find that many. Now, oh, now these are those studs that go in people's um, ears, their noses, various parts of their bodies. It's sealed. Doesn't look like anything's been used. That's nice. Somebody will want those somewhere. Um, but <clears throat> if, as I said, please subscribe to my channel. Go across, hit the bell, and hit all, and then you'll. Um, anytime I'm on or online or going to be online, it will notify you. And um, then you can go up to go up to the right hand side up here of the video and click on that, and that'll give you information about purchasing from me and all, everything you need to know about my channel. We open bags and open boxes that we've picked up around and uh, purchased from other people in the community. This is cold. I test this toggle because the toggle is gunmetal. There we go. Gunmetal color. Nice little bracelet. Just needs a cleanup because I can see it wants to shine. It just probably hasn't had a chance. This is Goodwill. I don't like to really take them out of the package till I'm ready to put them up for sale. But that's a silver tone, and it looks like it's just a, a circle with a, a a bar hanging down. Got another one of these acrylic crystals, I believe. If not, if I'm not mistaken, this is like the third one. A 
clip earring, no match yet, some wooden beads with some acrylic beads, little fun necklace. Here is, oh, this was, I believe this might have been a pendant, very pretty pendant, cat eye, but it didn't make it in the bag. That's garbage. <clears throat> Pierced earrings, reminiscent of the maybe 60s, 70s. Red with a white rope around them. Broken heart with rhinestones. And wouldn't you know it, I think I'm going to keep this one to harvest. This one has all of its rhinestones, and you're always, always looking for this small size rhinestone. A key ring, hook, a paper clip, always handy. Another single earring and a chain that's broken. Yeah, now I haven't seen any of these earrings come out. That's interesting. That's got like, it's black enamel. It's got shiny like glitter on it. This one is, looks like it might be brass. Oh, that would be nice to get. Like I said, a lot of interesting pieces that just are probably going to go in a craft bag. I know these beads that I'm setting aside will definitely go out to somebody. I'll just put them up for sale and see who wants any. And again, as I say, if you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. It keeps me going. It keeps my enthusiasm up. Here's another little earring. Another rhinestone. Half of a barrel clasp. Single earring. Piece of shell. I don't know what that would go to. Here we've got a little statement piece coming up. Wow. Quite a length of of necklace here. Gather up some of these beads. They're just rolling everywhere. Okay, let me measure this. Has an extender on it, a finish extender, lobster claw clasp, no name. This one is about a 15 inch drop. It's got the pearl um, teardrops, and they're not cold. So it's just acrylic covered, but it is really pretty. Very pretty. Very attention getting. Try a little kindness pan. It's got the arc with all the animals on it. Oh, I think this was a, a fundraiser for one of the communities. And this is glass beads. It was a little $4.99. Very nice, still um, vinyl or it might be leather. I doubt it, but it's, uh, it's pretty. I think I'd probably cut it down and make it a little bracelet. It's got some wine colored roses with the green leaves. I like that piece. More loose earrings. I saw this one somewhere, a little, little moon stud. And, oh, now that is sweet. That's a little, tie, uh, little pin. And it says, it's a, an injectable, like a nurse's pin. You know, a nurse would wear it on their lapel. F, F O E. I don't know what that is. Cup, a little rhinestone um, earring, earring backs, 
little piece of stone that's broken off. Oh, this is worse for wear. That was cute. That was a nice little pendant. But the enamel has worn away on the edges. Still real sweet. Okay, we're getting down to the drags here, people. Oh my goodness. I, boy, if anybody wants Chuck E. Cheese tokens, they, you take your little ones to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> Let's just throw them all in cookies bag. Here's another one of those Fitbit watches. Oh, this one's seen some wear. Move all of these here. I'm just going to push them out because I'm going to have to go through them anyway. <clears throat> well, you know, thinking about this, I don't know. I got that one 14 karat gold and pearl necklace. I'll take that to the jeweler and see. And then um, a couple of little pieces that can still be resaled, but depending on what I get for that 14 karat gold necklace. I don't know that I'll have my money back on this one. That looks like somebody's fishing fishing um, float. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's what that is. It's a little chain, a little gold chain. This fashion statement or fashion jewelry. Large hoop. And wouldn't you know it, you know, you don't, oh, well, these two don't even go together. They're the same size hoop, different clasps. So, let's see what we can match up. Here's some button earrings. Definitely 50s looking, but they're pierced ears. A marble. Now, that would have been pretty, but we didn't get the match. That's okay. We'll figure it out. And this is a a twisted cord. This must have been a gift for like a client. It's got a little glass cross on it. That's cute. And here is um, Blessed Mother metal, quite large, on a very nice chain. Lobster clasp. clasp. And this is Not in any language I know. I know a couple of them, but pray. I understand pray for, oh, it's in English. It's just all run together. Oh, it says, oh, Mary, mother of God, pray for us who have, I don't know. I can't read it, but it is a, um, a religious medal. Okay. Little tiny, a lot of little beads. I'm trying to pick out some bigger things here. Here's another type of cross. This is like brass because it's very heavy, very rustic looking. And a little pearl. Sandia cup, Albuquerque to Mexico. Maybe somebody would be interested in that as a collector. But if it's in a scrap shop, it looks like it wasn't. Here's a little pen. This one does have a name on it. This is a little anchor, and it's just doesn't stick, so it's covered with something. Let me see if I can get a, a handle on what, what it says here. Vanguard, Vanguard, New York. It's just got the, the rollover clasp. It's a cute little pen. Get my Chuck E. Cheese tokens out of the way. Gotta have those, you know, you never know when I might need them. Little smiley pen. And this is a DYI or DI collector's chain. 
I like I said I like to do a shout out to my squat my Skywatch too. <clears throat> you can go on there and follow her. She has some really nice jewelry. Um, I believe she posts on Etsy. This is a little angel, like a guardian angel pin. Really pretty. It's not real old, but it does appear like it's definitely vintage. Can you see that? The little angel in there? Very pretty. I'm going to put that over here. Silver earring hoop. Um, I might have this match in another in my single earring jar. That's the thing is they will come up again. Oh, this is pretty. Be nice if I had that one in here somewhere. Here's an old pen. Definitely vintage. It can be a pendant. You can tell by this clasp here. This is we're talking 30s and 40s with that. The rhinestones all look to be in good place. It looks like this one might have slipped, but that's a very easy repair. It's in good shape for, for what it is. Very good shape. Give me a heads up, people out there, and tell me if you'd like to see a pen lot. One of our other um, sellers in the community had a pen lot sale that was really good, really nice, very interesting. She had a lot of good items to resell. Got another marble. This is a single earring. And for the most part, that's all I'm seeing left. My goodness gracious, there's a vintage. That's definitely a 50s. A little charm. Uh, a bee, a hippo's head, and a, no, these are birds. Some kind of a, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's not a hippo's head. That's a giraffe's head. You think that might be the ark? Yeah, it looks like this might be the ark. I don't remember. Right yeah. And. Nope, doesn't even match. Here's a cute little glass. Um, pendant. Very delicate, needs a chain. Oh, you guys are going to die laughing at this. When I was at the Goodwill looking for the jewelry bags, um, things like this catch my eye. I have an old Chinese um, abacus. and then th Those are those counting beads that they use to, you know, instead of like a calculator, it was like the first calculator ever. But it caught my eye. It was in a wooden case, and I, I told my husband, I said, oh, look at that. That's just, I need that. And he's like, what do you need that for? Well, I don't have to worry because it was a compass. Now I've got my compass. Isn't that something? That's so cute. And that looks like it was maybe off of a ring. It was pasted on something, but I'm going to keep that. What I need it for, I don't know. Here's a little elephant earring. Here's a matchup. Can you believe those? They're just, they're glass, they're cold, and they're ugly. <laughs> okay, they were somebody's earrings, so somebody had to love them at one time. Here's another one of those um, glass crystal cut hearts. Yeah, this is going to be one of those fun things where you have to go through and decide if you want to keep the beads for anything. I do repurpose, and I do crafts, and I do felties, and if you've been to my channel before, I when I do my sales, I've tried to include a little visitor, which is usually one of my my felties that I do, and if you're not familiar with felty, that's uh, needle felting by hand, and they're just cute little characters. Here's a little skull head. Okay, guys, I think we've reached the end. Uh, leave me your comments in my comment section at the very bottom. Scroll all the way down, and you can tell. You can tell me. I don't, you know, with the exception of that, a couple of necklaces here and there that I just tangled up after my husband untangled them all. Those two were 
are just gorgeous. They're beautiful. And in fact, you could probably, no, you can't. I was going to say you could take them off the, the chain and use them for earrings because they are, they've got quite a bit of weight to them. They're very pretty. Um, and this 14 karat gold pearl necklace. But I'm real pleased with that. I'll take that to the jeweler. And if it's worth anything, then I got a little bit of money back on my on my bag. It wasn't a total disappointment. It was fun. It was fun sharing the evening with you. So I thank you for coming in and watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked what I did. And please give me a thumbs up as, as you leave. And you have a wonderful week. Love you all. Come back and see me again.